Walter, it's Gary Vaynerchuk and you're in the Ask Gary V Show. Yo, I'm gonna literally shit myself. <laughs> That's an amazing way to start this. <laughs> Just say hello. Please hello. say hello to, please to Jess. Please don't do that. We can't see you, but please don't do that. How are you? Walter, I prefer you do do that. <laughs> I mean, bro, if it's going to bring you a lot better content. You know? <laughs> no. Um, Thanks yeah. for calling, bro. Where are you from? What are you about? Uh, so I'm from Little Rhode Island. Yep. Um, I'm 27. Yep. Um, I'm a product of the college dropout life because I truly found my passion. Yep. Um, and so I started to create a whole bunch of clothing. And so I kind of took a little bit of a turn because it was becoming more of like a money thing as opposed to, you know, it's like the overall growth and passion of, you know, so what I love to do. And so, and so I started to look at everything from the numbers side as opposed to, you know, like in the better interest of the actual brand. Yep. And so now I'm just trying to essentially start over with my brand. Yep. Um, and so, uh, you know, the biggest thing that I have for you guys, um, you know, would be how do you start over? Mm. Easily. Early you know? and often. <laughs> yeah, easily, bro. What do you, yeah. you know, uh, by recognizing it's the easiest thing in the world if yep. you're able to not take other people's judgment and if you're willing to be humble and patient. 100%. I, I, I shut down one company that I ran for four and a half years and I, and I felt like it was, it felt internally like it might be this really dramatic thing. And then you realize that the world is so like busy and agnostic to Nobody what you're up to. Nobody gives a fuck about you. No one cares. So, but, the, but it's actually good news. It's liberating. It's, it's just like, gr- go forward. Just, just listen, figure it out. Yeah. Listen, I, with all my followers, uh, <laughs> Nobody gives a fuck. Right, 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 right. It's like, it's so liberating when you really kind of wake up to that. That like, no, you... I'm sorry, Yeah, yeah. No, no, like, you, when you wake up to the fact that no one really cares that much about what you've been doing, it's like, it's not, it's kind of like, oh, like, slight bummer. And then you're like, wait a sec, I can do whatever I want. Nobody cared yeah. about your big fucking pimple in the middle of your head in eighth grade, but you thought they did. But they had their own fucking problems. Yeah, yeah. Like, nobody... <laughs> sick, success or notoriety or like pressure is predicated on how long somebody will give a fuck. Mm -hmm. When Prince dies, we give a fuck. For a day? Yeah. Right. Where's all my homies now about my man Nipsey? We'll give them love that week. But like, people move on with their lives. Mm -hmm. That's just the way it is. And those are special people, Nipsey, Prince. Like special, 1% of 1%. Mm -hmm. Like for the rest of us, what do you think? And like no matter how much your ambitions are to be special, like me, like what you equally realize is nobody gives a fuck. How do you start over? Easily. Nobody gives a fuck. What are your alternatives? Yeah. What else are you going to fucking do, bro? Yeah, yeah. You just, tomorrow is a new day and, and you, and the, the stress is internal for you. Uh, it's less about, so the world is like ready for your next idea, you know? And, and are you asking like theoretical, like the way we took it? Or are you asking like physical, like register now? Like what do you like? Yeah. I assume it's, th- it's mental and macro, right? It's a hundred percent macro. Um, Love so it. like just for a little bit more context, guys. Um, so I grew the company literally straight from college and I took it to six figures yep. in a little bit over six months. Go ahead. And that was strictly from that was like strictly from Instagram because of course. you know, so I actually was using that back in twenty thirteen when it started to really take off. Yep. But it wasn't actually positioned for brands at that point. Yep. And so I leveraged that. Um, and and to be completely transparent with you guys, like it got caught up in crazy to me because I've used, you know, it's like 10 K followers as a shit ton. Yeah. Right. And it just completely threw my mindset out of whack. You got high on your you own know? supply. Yeah. Yeah. So you have to realize, exactly. yeah, yeah, bro, the, I get it. Yeah. It's tough. The other thing is like, what got you here won't get you there kind of thinking, where it's just like, whatever you did on that last business that worked, like probably won't work again in the same way. So just unhook from that and think about what you want to do next. Bro, this happens all the time using data points from here. Like, I have so much empathy. I'm so pumped that you're so self-aware though. You're 27 and you understand that that's what happened. Bro, you know how many people get into Y Combinator, which is in Silicon Valley where like fucking Harvard, Stanford, all of that in startup land and think they've made it? Mm-hmm. Like I'm sure you had classmates in your class. They thought they made it when they got into YC. Yeah, that's right. They haven't even started. Yeah, yeah. You know how many people celebrate fundraising? Yeah. Hey, we raised three million bucks. Party, boats, cool. Like. What yeah. the, dude, I get it, dude. And like 10K in 2013 was like, because I was there, yeah. 10K in 2013 was like having 3 million right now. Yeah. Dude, when I had 4,000 followers on Twitter 
in 2007 and went to South by Southwest, you would have fucking thought I was Drake. <laughs> Yeah, but everything has a moment. So, That's exactly so, so right. the point is everything has a moment and, and you see entrepreneurs sometimes right, try to recreate an old moment oh, and it gets so w- super awkward and weird. So just like think about that. Like think about how you can't recreate that old moment uh, where you were. Yeah, and- dude, don't go back to high school as a college kid to pick up high school chicks, okay? Yeah. Walter? Just also no, don't do that. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Got it. Walter, honestly, very seriously, bro, this is a piece of cake. Nobody gives a fuck. And you shouldn't give a fuck about their opinions and you should practice that. Yep. And it's liberating. It's like good news. And for folks listening, please, please, please go follow Devoted Lifestyle on Instagram. I appreciate it, guys. Thank you for you your time. Yeah, you, you too. Got it, you Take too. care. No, it's such, it's so right.